even if you don't like glass, even if you think you don't like glass, uh, once you get here, you undergo a conversion, I think. The mission and vision of the library is to be the finest library on the art and history of glass in the, uh, in the world. And I think that we're succeeding at that very well. When the museum was established in 1951, the library was established simultaneously, and that's because the founders of the museum considered the library to be as important as the museum and the glass collection. Originally, we had 1,500 volumes and 500 photographs and another 500 prints and engravings, and so now we're at about half a million. About 50% of it is made up of unique items that exist only in one copy, and this is the only place where they do exist in the world. So in that sense, uh, some of our visitors, some of our researchers have called us Mecca, because this is the place to come to find things that you cannot find anywhere else. So we're constantly growing, constantly acquiring new material in all formats and donations, and we take just about everything because our mission is to collect comprehensively. Sometimes we find them on, on eBay, but most of the time we're using uh, rare book dealers and publishers, and once we've acquired it, we have to catalog it, we have to arrange it on the shelves, and we have to make sure that we preserve it carefully. My favorite collection in the library, which is more or less a library within a library, are the design drawings. Many of these design drawings have had a rough life. You can see you know, some damages to, to the paper, meaning that maybe they spent some time on the factory floor, uh, they were handled by the glassmaker near the furnace, and, and those are signs that these are hardworking drawings. You know, they're not just pieces of art that you hang on a wall and live with every day. They're, they're art, we like to call them art, that you work with every day. Our collection is really unrivaled, but we are open to the public, uh, as well as serving uh, the very serious uh, constituency of scholars and researchers. But we also have reference requests that are coming in from everywhere in the world, from children who ask, I found a piece of purple glass in my backyard, can you tell me about it? To the Library of Congress, who might call us when they need information. So we, we fulfill all those roles and uh, we feel very comfortable doing that.